Before we talk about anything else, I need to share some time-sensitive information. Yesterday, at the end of the day, Niantic announced a new event for Pokemon Go. To celebrate the launch of daily bonuses, they've added even more bonuses. So from November 7th, that's yesterday, through Friday, November 11th, Pokestops are going to be giving out extra items, and Pokemon spawns in the wild are going to be greatly increased. A lot of people were noticing this change before they announced it. I got a ton of tweets saying, I'm getting six items from every Pokestop, and I got a bunch of tweets with huge cluster spawns of a bunch of Pokemon all in one place. So a lot of people were really confused. Once Niantic finally announced the event, it cleared everything up. So again, from November 7th through 11th, there are greatly increased spawns in the wild and double item drops from Pokestops. That coincides with daily bonuses, which as you know, you get a daily bonus for your first Pokestop of the day and for your first catch of the day. So it's gonna be really easy to go out and do that during this event. Also, I think it has a little bit to do with the recent speed cap on Pokestops. They're probably giving out double items to sort of make up for that. So again, up until November 11th, Pokestops are going to be dropping double items, and spawns are greatly increased, so take advantage of it. What? NWL? Yep, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. I have some very exciting news to share with you today. Oh, can we have some uh, salsa, please? Thank you. The first references to second generation Pokemon have been found in the game's code. Wait, where's my iced tea? Oh yeah, iced tea. In addition to Generation 2 information being found, there's some new information about Ditto. Ditto's signature move, Transform, was added to the game as a quick attack, and it has information, it has an animation, so it suggests that Ditto might be coming sooner rather than later. Keep in mind that Transform hasn't actually been added to Ditto's movesets in the game data. Right now, Ditto still only knows Struggle. The guys at the Silk Road have a theory that Transform might just be something that happens when Ditto enters battle, and it might not necessarily be a move that you actually decide to use. But regardless of what it turns out to be, the information is there, we just don't know when it's going to become active. Now for me, the really exciting stuff is that Generation 2 Pokémon are now referenced in the game's code. That's a hundred new Pokémon, starting from Chikorita, going all the way up to my personal favorite, Celebi. In addition, there are 52 new families referenced in the code, and families are what determines which Pokémon can use a specific type of candy. Interestingly, the baby Pokémon that get added in Generation 2 don't change the families, so for Pokémon like Magby and Elekid, which evolve into Magmar and Electabuzz, the family remains Magmar and Electabuzz. Tyrogue, however, has a split evolution of either Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, or a new second generation Pokemon, Hitmontop, and that family actually changes. There's now a Tyrogue family referenced in the code. There's no moveset data included with these new Pokemon that the game references, so it would take another update to the game itself before those Pokemon are ready to be implemented. And please keep in mind that there have been lines of code referencing trading for many months now, and we still don't have that. So Generation 2 could be quite a ways off, 
but it's very, very promising to see that these names are now appearing in the game's code, confirming that Generation 2 will eventually be coming to Pokemon Go. Again, we don't know when, but the fact that they're finally starting to add that information in makes me very optimistic that it might be coming before the end of the year, like I originally predicted. Now, let's see if there's any Pokemon spawning up here. Nothing at all on sightings, that can't be right. There was stuff there, just a, no, oh, there they are. Wow, that is a full sightings list, something I've never seen up here in the canyon before. And right up here at the end of this road, right up there, that's where some previous spawn points were located. I'm not sure if anything's gonna spawn there. It should have showed up by now and I'm not seeing it. But that's really promising to see nine Pokemon on sightings up here where there were previously only a couple at most. There's a lot of speculation that this increase in spawn points recently is meant to prepare the game for Generation 2's launch. And I think that's definitely possible. If there are more Pokemon, we would need to see more spawn points to sort of keep things even and make Pokemon more accessible. Yeah, I'm really not seeing anything up here. Guess we can head back down to the street that way. No Pokemon. Where are these spawning? I was really hoping to get my first catch of the day bonus, which apparently isn't resetting at midnight local time like it was originally supposed to. Some people said it restarted at like 8 a.m. Pacific time today. So, I don't know. I haven't gotten mine yet because I've been pretty busy all day. I guess there's always incense. How many do I have? I'm not sure if I have another 30 minutes to sit here. I'm home now, but I want to talk a little bit more about second generation coming to Pokemon Go. One of the biggest questions that I get asked is which Pokemon do I need to save candies for because they're going to gain evolutions in second generation. There are 10 total first generation Pokemon who are going to have new evolutions in second generation. So you'll want to save candies for these Pokemon. Zubat gains a second evolution after Golbat, it's going to evolve to Crobat. You should save up at least 100 candies for that. Horsey also gets a second evolution. Seedra is going to evolve into Kingdra, which is actually going to be a really powerful Pokemon once second generation comes out. You'll need to save up probably 100 candies for that one also. Oddish and Poliwag both gain new possible second evolutions. They get a split evolution. So Gloom is going to evolve into either Vileplume, which is currently in first generation, or Belossum, which gets added in second generation. And Poliwhirl is going to evolve into either Poliwrath, or Politoed. I would save at least 50 candies, possibly 100 for these. Currently, two-stage evolutions require 100 candies for that second evolution, but I expect they might reduce the cost since it's now a split evolution line. Don't take my word for it though. Try to save up 100 candies. Slowpoke gets a new possible evolution in Slow King. That's another split evolution, so I'd save 50 candies, but I also expect that might be reduced to 25 because it is a split evolution. Save 50 though. In second generation, Onyx evolves into Steelix, Scyther evolves into Scissor, Chansey evolves into Blissey, and Porygon evolves into Porygon 2. I'd expect each of these evolutions to cost 50 candies, so try to save up for those. I know some of those are going to be harder than others. I'm pretty sure I have well over 50 candies for Onyx and Scyther just from hatching eggs, but Chansey and Porygon are very rare, and I'm nowhere close to 50 candies. But if you do run out of things to walk with as your buddy, you can try setting these Pokemon to start saving candies for second generation. And the last first generation Pokemon you'll need to save candies for is Eevee. It's going to gain two new evolutions in second generation. Espeon, a psychic type, and Umbreon, a dark type. Again, I'm expecting those to retain the same cost, 25 candies, so make sure you have at least 50 Eevee candies heading into second generation. 
If you want to learn even more about second generation coming to Pokemon Go, check out the suggested video here. I went into a lot more detail about all these new Pokemon that are getting added, including possible CP values for the strongest Pokemon in second generation. Now keep in mind the CP formula that we used at the time wasn't entirely accurate, so the CP values listed in the video are actually a little bit lower than what they'll turn out to be once Pokemon Go finally does add second generation. And lastly, please remember that second generation might not be coming soon to Pokemon Go. All we have in the game data is references to the Pokemon's names and to their families. There's still no moveset data, there's still no 3D models for these Pokemon, so it could be a while before we actually see them in the game. Regardless of when, we at least have confirmation that second generation is coming to Pokemon Go, and personally, I'm pretty excited about it. I hope you guys are too. See you tomorrow.